Hello everyone, it's Alex Goodall here again with the next instalment on my short video series on retrospectives and lessons learned. And in this video, uh, I'm going to briefly review the four questions that I identified before as the, the key questions that you need to ask in doing the retrospective. But I'm then going to focus on the question number four. I'm going to break open question number four and identify the structure within there. And that's where the really interesting stuff starts to happen. Not that the rest of the stuff hasn't been interesting, but this is where there's even more meat. So bear with me now. I'm going to switch over and show you the slide and we'll go into question four. OK, here we are. This is where we got to last time. We set the context, which is stating the topic and stating the time frame, such as my business for 2014 or my flower arranging for the last half hour. It can be any topic and it can be any time frame. And we asked the four questions. What was supposed to happen? And now I've identified here on the slide explicitly that that needs to be expressed in terms of the results. Another way of saying that is what results did I expect to get? What actually happened? What results did I actually get? As opposed to what did I actually do? Uh, how do I feel about the results? So there's some introspection there about what your emotional feeling is in relation to the results. And then the final question is, if I want to make changes, I, I don't feel that the results were what I wanted and I want to make changes, what should the changes be? So basically, if I want to make changes, how do I improve my approach? <laughs> but to be careful of the wor exact wording I use here and you'll see why. So I'm now going to break open question four. If I want to make changes, what should they be? So the question is, what sort of changes can I make? And notice that I'm not saying what should I do differently because that's that's too limiting. So the whole point of this technique is to keep all your options for change open or, 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 to, or to look at all your options for change. And what you do is only one option. Let me show you what the what the options are. OK, they've magically appeared. That's what they are. So let's take the example of a business and you're reviewing the business and the results aren't what you wanted. Now, if it's an online business, then part of the analysis might be that actually you've, you've decided that you're, uh, one of the reasons you're not getting the results that you wanted is because you're not getting enough traffic. There could be many other things you look at instead or as well as that. But let's say that in part of your analysis, you decide that the traffic is something that needs looking at or could need looking at. And that could be one of the actions. So I want to change my actions. I'm using, say, Facebook to get the traffic. Are my Facebook techniques suitable? Do I need to change the way I, I use Facebook? Do I need to do my targeting better? Do I actually need to outsource it? Should I get someone else to do it instead of me? So do I need to change my actions relating to my traffic? Or, again, maybe it's conversions. Do I need to change my actions relating to my conversions. Am I actually doing split testing, for example? Should I be doing split testing? Should I be doing split testing better? So that's at the actions level. But I might look at it and say, actually, my Facebook activities are ab absolutely fine. I'm using Facebook as well as I could hope, but it just isn't giving me the results. So maybe, or it's costing me too much or, or whatever. I've, and then decided that actually my actions are fine, but they're not giving me the results. Therefore, I need to go up a level and talk about tactics. So maybe I need to be doing something different with the tactics. Maybe I need to be uh, doing Google AdWords as well as or instead of Facebook. Maybe I need to be doing some content marketing. Maybe I need to be gathering a crowd. Maybe I need to improve my uh, list building activities in some way. Or maybe I need to, to, to be creating a funnel. So we, we then look at the tactics or again at a higher level, maybe my business at the moment is affiliate marketing or building my own products and selling them online. Actually, maybe what I should be doing at tactical level is doing client work instead of affiliate marketing, say. So it's tactics or again, another angle of my business. Maybe I'm doing too much myself. I need to be doing outsourcing. Maybe I need to hire people. So again, so that's at the high level of, of tactics. But maybe I look at all the tactics and think, no, all that's fine. I'm, maybe I could change my actions, and but maybe I could change my tactics, but none of that seems right for some reason. The, the, maybe I feel my tactics are okay, but 
or, or they're not okay, but anything I can think of, I'm sure it isn't going to work. So I need to think at a completely different level. Maybe my whole strategy is, is wrong. And in fact, at this point, you could say uh, strategy and purpose is where you would do client consultant, consultancy work instead of affiliate marketing, for example, at the strategy level. Or, and you could bring, you could separate this out to another level, but I'd like to just keep it at four. You can think, think of purpose as, is an online business what I really want to be doing? Maybe I want to be a life coach. Maybe I want to be a lumberjack. Maybe I uh, want to do a charity work. Maybe I actually look, look, I actually have got enough money and I don't need to be doing this business at all. Maybe I'm about to retire from my day job and my pension would be sufficient. Whatever it happens to be, there's things at the higher level you want to look at, both the strategy of the business and the purpose behind it. So at all parts of the of the lessons learned in the review process, always think about these four levels. Do I want to change my, the actions that I'm doing Do and or do I want to change the tactics and or do I want to change my strategy and or purpose? And it's always good to be reviewing all those things at all those levels and all this remember is driven by the results here's the results that I wanted to get here are the results I'm getting where do I need to make the changes if I'm unhappy with the results okay I think that that's fairly straightforward but it's actually a very powerful technique if you apply it on a regular basis I will have one more video after this where I'll just put the whole thing into another context you know not introducing many new new ideas here but just maybe expanding the context for this whole idea. As always, make comments or ask questions below. Click the like button if you like the video and click subscribe if you would like to receive automatic updates of new videos. Thanks for your time and bye bye.